you. I thought we'd get on here and we'd I show you my um, what I go through to do my hair. I thought I'd do a hair tutorial and since I straightened it yesterday and it's not wash day but I'll show you how I do I'm not going to shampoo it but I'll show you if I would shampoo it how I would do it with conditioner but this is why I don't curly girls do not brush their hair okay it would be even worse if, if I didn't use that straightener on it yesterday yes this is why curly girls do not brush their hair okay yes this is why I got thick hair okay first off now if you have a lot of buildup on your hair you can use a you could get a exfoliating uh, scalp scrub I like not your mother's or you can just get some shampoo and sugar don't use salt because salt will dry your scalp out get some shampoo and put just put a ton of sugar in it and use that to wash your scalp and scrub it really well and <clears throat> or you can use conditioner either one because sometimes i'll put i'll use conditioner and then i'll use shampoo to help get it out but this has a what i like about this is it has a nozzle on it and I'll just go through like this and get it out and scrub it real good all over my scalp and it feels so good and you will also be able to your style you know you don't have to just because you have curly hair any kind of if you use a lot of products on your hair this just will help your hair a lot Woo. okay and now I had to go through so many different products to find out what worked for me now I've got I've used high-end I use low-end and some of the high-end I really do like but I mean I go through a lot of conditioner because if I, I on days that I don't I wet my hair every day so I will use conditioner unless I put it unless I'm going to just put it up so what I found out what I like is I have found it suave, lush, what lush and coily, and I like this. This is not too heavy and it's not too light for my hair because I have coarse, thick, curly hair. So this works really well for me. The regular suave for curly hair does not. It's too, it's too light, and. I love um, Mark Anthony's Strictly Curls. Now, sometimes when this starts, when my hair starts looking a little bleh, I will stop using this and I will go back to the Suave or I'll switch it up and go to um, Not Your Mother's. I like Not Your Mother's also. And I also like the JBN. And I think you can get that one. I <laughs> think. I think I get that one at Sephora. I think so. Now there is one on um, Instagram that I want to try. It's called Lux. L-U-S. I think that's what it is. I really want to try that one. But I want a no buy right now. Unless I absolutely need it. And I have got so many conditioners and shampoos in there. I, I Like I said, I only shampoo my hair about every maybe every 14 days or so because i i mean my hair does not get oily so i only shampoo i yeah i only shampoo it when it really needs it so and i really don't go anywhere so it doesn't get really oily or dirty now afterwards i like to use i have tried so many different gels and if it if a gel has coconut oil in it no good for my hair. It dries my hair out something terrible. So this is what I have found works for me. This works the best for me. This and Dippity Doo. But the only place I can find Dippity Doo sometimes is online on Amazon. But this is cheap. I get it on Amazon. I mean I get it at Walmart 
It works great for me. And I use a lot. I go through a lot of gel. I'll show you how much gel I use. Like it. I also use curl cream. And I use this one. I use this one or I will use the Not My Mother's or Mark Anthony. And I also use mousse. Which is Mark Anthony. And I also love Mark Anthony's shampoo and conditioner. And if my hair is starting to sometimes, because I don't eat very well, um, my hair will, because you always have fallout with your hair. So if I'm having um, more than usual that I know, that because I know about what I should have, I will use the way to grow. If you have trouble growing your hair, this is what you need to use. And right now I've been having a lot of issues with a lot of fallout. So, and use this. And when I went to go have my hair cut the other day, and yes, I did have my hair cut and thinned out. A lot thinned out. There's enough to do another wig. She said my hair was so healthy. She said it was so healthy, but it is, but I ha am having some of it thinned out. But I do use this as a lead-in conditioner. But I will show you how I do all this. Now, the myth of washing your hair in cold water is no, because if you wash your hair in cold water, you're not going to get the grease out. But you don't want to wash it in very hot water either. Okay? You want some nice, you, you want it warm. You don't want it too warm to scold, scald your brain, but you want to where it's going to get grease out if you have grease. Now, I, was, I just got out of the shower, but I was not going to wash this in the shower because it, I did it the other day and I had to bleach the tub because it looked like a murder scene. But you really want to make sure that your hair is very wet. Now what I do is find which one's my conditioner. Now if I was shampooing my hair, I would go in on just my scalp. And now you only want to rub one way. You either want to go vertical or up and down because if you go in circles you're going to knot your hair up and you're going to break it and yes when I use conditioner I put it on my scalp because my scalp does get more dry and since I only And I use a lot of shampoo. I mean, not shampoo. I use a lot of, and I don't use dry shampoo. I can't stand it. And since I use a lot of um, gel and hairspray and mousse, I do this to get it out of my off my scalp every when you know when I wash my hair when I get my hair wet. You probably can't see the red coming out. And then, now if I was washing it, I would take this up here and squish it. 
to get, you know, shampoo on that. But now I got the conditioner and I'm bringing it down. Now, this is what I use. You find you a white tooth comb, a wet brush, whatever works for you. This is what really works for me. I've always used this since, shoot, back in the 80s, I started using these. But I really never braced my hair to my curls too much back in the 80s. Some days I did, some days I didn't. Or I would hot curl it. Just do this. I don't do this with the shampoo, but just with the conditioner. Since I already brushed my hair earlier, I knew I already got a lot of the, all of my shedding out, which there was quite a bit, but I only have a little bit today since I brushed it earlier and I brushed it last night. If not, I would have like my palm full and I'm not kidding. And no, there's nothing wrong. I've had blood work, everything, so it's just my nutrition. Now I'm just take my palms. Now, when I say I'm, I'm um, curl training my hair, I use a deep conditioner, which um, you'll have to find the one that you like. And I like the Fertise on that one. I can't remember which one it is. But when I deep condition, I put deep conditioner on when I curl train. And I just do this with my hair. And I do this usually about once a month or so. And I'll do this before I color treat my hair. Or yeah, you well, maybe not even once a month. But I do this. Go all the way down. And I just twist it. Get those little bitty rubber bands tie around here. Go on to the next. Yes, it takes a while. And then I will flop my hair either in a t-shirt or this and sleep on all night. And then the next morning, oh, excuse me, I'll rinse my deep conditioner up. And that's how I, and you can do that if you're starting out to do a curly hair if your curls aren't the way you want it. That is a great way to start your curly hair treatment, your curly hair adventure. And that's what I started with to get my curls as well. And it, and it will take a while. I cannot believe I still have red coming out of my hair. I mean, really red. I know red always bleeds a lot, no matter what, and I've never had it bleed this much. But I think tomorrow is when I'm getting it taken out.
Okay. Now. Now that my hair is still super wet, I am going to take gel. And I use a lot of gel for my hair because my hair is thick. And coarse. And then I take curl cream. I don't use as much as that, but I do use a little. Your hair ah, needs moisture. When it says moisture, it means water. Then I take my comb and some of this conditioner off of it. Now I will do this. Now I will take my mousse. Like I said, it may take quite a few brands for you to go through and learn what works for your hair. And you'll have to learn how to work it into your hair for your hair. I mean, just because I'm doing mine like this does not mean it's gonna work for you. But this is how I get it distributed into my hair evenly. Now, I do not tie my hair up. And I do not know why I got such light cows, especially when I dye my hair so much. And now I just take it. And you can even use a regular towel if you're just gonna scrunch it. Don't rub it, don't take it like this. Just use it to scrunch. I would use it, but it will turn that one red. If I would have, should have brought a dark blue one in here. I already used it. But you just kinda squish out the water I'm going to have to use that one anyway. I'm going to have to put that one around my neck so my shirt don't get red on it. Because you're still going to drip water. But that's okay. That's what you want. I'm gonna wash this one anyway. I'll walk, put it and wipe and bleach it. Now, whoops. Now we're off. See if we can do this. I am roasting. 
see if I can get you situated up here <sighs> for a minute. And then I dry my hair with a diffuser. I really want a diffuser. Oh yeah, that's marker. Um, I really want a diffuser with a uh, now, I will not touch this with a comb, a brush, anything. Don't. I just let my curls go. Now, I may, you know, put it where I want it to go. But I will, you know, and I will diffuse it. I will put it up like this. This. Bend my head over. Diffuse it how, you'll, you'll figure out how you need to diffuse your hair. And I'll diffuse it and be back. Hello. I've been doing this for about 30 minutes. Okay? It takes forever to do my hair. And this is an 1875. Yes. And it takes forever to do my hair. <laughs> so, I'm not going to dry it all the way. I'll decide how I want to fix it. But, this is pretty much how I do my hair. Well, I don't leave it like this. But, I don't know what I want to do with it. If I want to... But, I am going to do a... Um, makeup video using the Be The Gift. So, but what I will do with this is, usually I just, you know, how I usually do my hair. I'll put it over here. And now I need to find, I need to find my barrettes, what I need to do. So, I need to find my things. But, um, yeah, I'll just let it dry a little bit now, more on its own. A lot of times I usually just let it dry on its own. I don't hardly ever use the hair dryer because it takes so long and my arm is now hurting. But um, I am going to get off here. But that's how I do my hair. And then what I will do is and at night time I just take and I put it all up. I use a big scrunchie that I have in the bathroom and I put it all up on the top of my head. And I sleep with it on top of my head when I wake up in the morning. I'll take it out and um, if I don't want, if I'm not going to, if I don't feel like getting in the shower and wetting it and doing all that stuff, I, you know, get in the shower and I just wash off my body. Um, I'll show you how I revamp the curls. Because sometimes, you know, we're having the scrunchie in there. They have that ridge in there. And plus, I, I'm all over the place when I sleep, so. But, um... Yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. I know my hair's a mess right now. And my and they're soft. They're, I don't have, um, even with all of that gel, it's not scrunchy. It's not sticky. Um, and I will be putting hairspray in it once it gets all, whatchamacallit. So, I'm going to see how I want to do it. So, if you want to see how my hair winds up turning out, you have to watch my makeup video. So, I will have that one up next. I love you guys. Stay blessed, stay beautiful, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.